Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome back to the iManifold video series. Today we're going to take a look at the wireless probes. There may be times where it becomes necessary to delete and then repair these to the unit. For example, if you're switching back and forth from the iConnect to the iManifold, or if you switch operating systems from Android to Apple, or if there's multiple techs sharing the same probes, we may have to delete and then repair them to get them to operate properly. In this video, we're going to take a step-by-step -step look at how to do this, and then at the end, once we've repaired them, we'll map them. Let's get started. We're going to start by deleting the probes from the unit. In the settings menu, bring up the wireless probes. Tap on either one and tap on the settings widget on the right. Choose remove and you'll see the probe be removed from the list. Repeat the process with the second probe. We're now going to be prompted to add probes. Tap on the screen to begin the pairing. Make sure the probe being paired is displaying the flash, flash, pause sequence. Then press the wireless button. Press add more to add the second probe. Again, make sure the second probe is displaying flash, flash, pause and press the wireless button. When it's found, press done. You can now map the probes. For this example, I'm going to map probe 1 for the supply air. Press the drop down menu and press the settings widget at the right. Press map to bring up the options. We're going to do the same thing for probe 2, only we're going to use it for the return air. You can map them however you'd like. We're going to go back to the home screen and we'll see the measurements being put up by probe 1 and probe 2. Using the arrows at the bottom, we'll find probe 1. We'll see it's displaying supply air dry bulb and supply air relative humidity. We'll scroll over to 2 and see that it's doing return air dry bulb and return air relative humidity. Both probes are connected and send an information, so we're ready to go. 